So you always wonder who's running the State Department because the President certainly knows how to insult about every nationality. <laughs> um, and yes, this is not a spring chick. And we're here with Ola Kim today with comments on the headlines of today. And of course, it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said the Democrats have decided that they are going to run on Obamacare because it's so popular. Uh, and it will bring an end to the Republican Party once and for all, like they said this morning, I uh, watched the news. That the Republicans simply do not cave in on their core issues. They cease to be a party, which means the Republicans must give up on, 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 on spending. They must give up on gay rights. They must give up on the ten all, all of the issues that make a Republican stand out different from a Democrat. They must give up on, or they will not just exist as a party. The only problem is, is that the only people that are supporting the Democratic Party's issues are the ones that are in strictly blue seats, of which they're not going to lose. Hell would freeze over before some of these people would ever lose. They've been there forever. That's how oh, they have. Remember, the turnover in the House and Senate is only about six percent. So you really have to piss people off to lose a seat. And the source of black poverty isn't black culture, it's the Republican Party. Okay, we're going to try to explain something. It was the Republican Party that led the fight to free the slaves. It was the Republicans that basically lost about 600,000 people fighting to free the slaves. It was not the Democrats that basically passed the Voting Rights Act. It was the Republicans because the Democrats and the Democrats and the unions did not want black people to be able to take their jobs from them. So they voted against it. Johnson only got the thing through with the assistance of the Republican Party, folks. So what happened was is that, um, that here's the thing too, socially, black Americans are, are basically signed with the Republicans. It's just economically they don't. They think more money should be spent. But if you basically wiped out the money thing, the Democrats would never win office mm -hmm. because they believe in the same, okay, who was the people that voted strongly against the uh, gay, gay marriage in California? It was the uh, Afro-Americans and the Latino heavily voted against it. And they would again because they don't believe in it. And video of dogs stuck in coat sleeve goes viral. I know. It, it, it basically, how do you, you know, I mean, dogs put their heads in strange things. I mean, <laughs> for instance, we had a, um, we had. I uh, haven't seen it. Have you seen oh, it? We had a dog that liked to go sleep inside our organ. We had a Hammond organ. You did? And he'd get inside the, the area where it was. But the problem is he eventually got too big. And oh. he, we had to take the back off the organ. So oh, he, no. Yeah, you know, and his, his great big head stuck out. You know, mo until he got to a certain size, he could squeeze his shoulders in and go through. But no. Oh, after, after he got stuck, he wouldn't go there anymore. No, he didn't go there ever again because he couldn't. Well, he could turn around, Monty could turn around in an unbelievable small space. Well, he could, a big dog could turn around. He couldn't get his back through it much. So, well, because there was a foot paddles that he was, he was going through the opening where the foot paddles were. And the foot paddles were, they put down when he went through, but when he came back out, they were up. Oh, so. uh, yes. And Democratic lawmaker, GOP based, animated by racism. That's, I know, and that's something. I mean, these. They're, they're, they're not, because they won't locate them. We're, 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 here's one was quoted last night by one of the Republicans who basically is against amnesty. He said, he did the thing from Oliver Wendell Holmes, Supreme Court Justice, who said, the law is the law is the law. If you don't like the law, change the law, don't break the law. You have 30 million people in this nation that broke the law. And they don't seem to think that there should be a penalty for breaking the law. I mean, okay. Obama and the Democrats can have their immigration thing done in an instant if these people all had to pay fines and go to the back of the line. The Census Bureau picked a bad time to change how it counts the uninsured. Uh, yeah, because the Democrats, oh, this is no big deal. Well, yes, it is a big deal for one reason. The woman that he's nominated to be the head of Health and Human Services was the one that rewrote the wording to make it look like there's more people on, on, on Obamacare than there is, folks. Mm -hmm. And Birmingham probes Muslim takeover of schools plot. Yeah, and Birmingham, Alabama is not the whitest place in the universe, folks. It's, uh, it's got like a lot of black city council members and a lot of black uh, school board of education members. They don't want their kids being taught um, 
you know, the Muslim culture in their schools. That's not what this, what they. Yeah, that's. It's yeah, their, we're in the U.S. Yeah, it's just like when watching a movie I was in last night. He said, "Well, why are you fighting so hard?" You know, well, because you're on our ground, not yours. Mm -hmm. They can go to Muslim school if they want. They can go to Muslim school. I went to Chinese school when I was little. Oh, I know, and I, I actually went to schools where they taught German. That's why of course I, I was little. I only spoke, I, I spoke English and German, but I really spoke German well. Mm -hmm. And battle over Scottish independence slightly tightens the loophole. Well, I know. Uh, it tightens the, okay, um, let's put it, Sean Connery, whose actually name was Seamus O'Connery, he said, uh, he said, we have been fighting from, from the days of David the Bruce to be free from England and all of a sudden the Scottish people want to give up their freedom and, be, and, and pay homage to the Queen of England forever. Mm -hmm. He said that was, uh, you know, he, he said he liked the English but he didn't want to be their servants and neither did most of the Scots. Mm -hmm. And Nevada Range War, Western states moved to take over federal land. Yeah, the, they have to because the feds, Here's a good one. The, the Obama has figured out how he can solve the problems on the border. The feds are basically starting to grab all of the all the private land along the borders in Texas and New Mexico, and uh, going to make it federal ground. And therefore, the uh, you have no further problem with people interfering with people's ranches because they're going to throw them all off their properties. And citing religious beliefs, cabbies won't drive cars with ads for gay games. Well, Whoa. I know. Well, here, uh, the Obama does not believe in the religious part of the Constitution. People, they said if you're a Jew, if, okay, I'm going to put it a simple way. He's not the only one. My family, I would be the king of Germany right now if my family hadn't have been Jews. <laughs> yeah, if you weren't the, the subject of racism. Yeah, I would just, uh, I know what, I know what religious bigotry yeah. is. Yeah, you, you know. What okay, I'll put it this way. Because then. otherwise you would have been. Yeah, my mommy was an Indian and my wife was, uh, Asian. So guess what? I know about it. All right, we're going to give you a thing from dinner. I'm sitting at dinner with Sammy Davis Jr. and my wife, and he said, uh, said your wife's a, a Jap. And he said, yeah. And she was basically, I'm a, I'm a Japanese-American princess, which meant she was a Jew like he was. And he said, okay, you're, you're the son of, of a whole bunch of Indians. I said, yeah. And he said, uh, my wife is Catholic, and I'm black, and I'm a Jew. He said, Boy, they could, if they take this table out, they get all of us at one time. So I don't know it's like that joke. West well, Africa's Ebola outbreak prompts changes in high coast cuisine. Oh yeah, because they're okay. The diseases are starting to spread all over Africa very quickly now. And Boston Strong has the model run its course. I know. Uh, well, the Democrats think that that's just not. Uh, we don't think that anyone should be considered exceptional, including the people in Boston. Unfortunately, Deval Patrick, who's the governor of the state, thinks that Boston exceptionalism is very important to this people of Boston. But this party doesn't, though. That's a no-no with them. I saw last night uh, a Democrat, you are not exceptional, and people that tell you that you are exceptional are doing nothing but hurting you in your future life. Telling that to school kids. And hate crime charge in New York, attack on Sikh professor. Yeah, well, he, you know, because he, if it had been a, a Jewish professor or a Catholic professor, you know, it's up yours. But remember, the Sikh is basically off of offshoots of the Muslim race. So. And with climate change, wildfires getting worse in the West. No, they're not. It has nothing to do with that. It's got to do with we have an El Nino problem right now. That uh, when when it, when El Nino hits, there's so much water you cannot believe it. It's the fact that we get too much water, which is what causes the wildfire problem because uh, you get the plants grow too much and then all of a sudden the summer hits and then it's fire, really fire season. And a monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. It, it used to be that if you were a habitual liar that it would cost you your job. Today it means you're going to be elected president. 